Hello, everybody. Today I'm continuing with the transit masterclass. And uh, the subject is the transits of the sun. Uh, transits of the planets are uh, secret knowledge that if you know, you can really improve the quality of your life. And understanding sun's transit is uh, one of the most important ones. So uh, let us explore. Hello, I'm Camilla Sutton, and we are talking uh, transits uh, masterclass and especially the transits of the sun. Uh, do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Also sign up for my newsletter because I inform all sorts of uh, information about the planets monthly. So let us continue with our transits masterclass. So the transit of the sun is one of the key transits that we experience. Uh, sun uh, moves through uh, one sign a month and its orbit is 12 months. So basically he is going to go through all the 12 signs of your chart. And each month he is giving you a different area to focus on. And uh, sun's transit, uh, uh, you know, is very important. It reflects the seasons. Uh, sun's calendar is divided into two halves. We have Uttar Ayana and Dakshin Ayana. So six months of the year, the sun is on its northerly course. That means it moves away from Earth. Uh, and this is from uh, 14th of uh, January to 14th of uh, July and then 14th of July to 14th January, it will move towards a southerly coast that is called Dakshin Ayana. Uh, then uh, the um, these six months are each divided into three seasons each. So we have uh, six seasons in all, and Sun's transit, along with the new moons, tells us. Uh, which is the season we are going through. So every two months we have a different season. And it, this season uh, is not always exactly precise because the sun's transit is precise is because it all depends on the new moon and the full moon. And then finally, we have the monthly transit where sun goes through one sign a month and uh, it moves uh, towards all the 12 signs in one year. However, sun's journey is very steady and stable. Unlike uh, other planets, um, moon or Mercury or any of the other planets, sun will not go retrograde. It does exactly the same thing every day, every month, every year. So we have a uh, sunrise, midday, sunset, midnight. The sun is going very calmly. Every day it will have a sunrise and then again a sunset. Then it will move uh, through the zodiac in the same way. So therefore, one of the things that sun is giving you a secret message is about regularity, you know, uh, making your life more regular. In the olden times, people used to get up with sunrise, go to sleep at sunset. Uh, so their, their life was much more regular. Our life is all topsy-turvy. Uh, we tend to get up whenever we feel like and go to sleep whenever we feel like. So we are not connecting to these very important uh, seasons and uh, timings and also it affects our health. So uh, trying getting up early morning is a very good gift you can give yourself uh, and so that you take in the early morning light of the sun. So in a year, uh, sun will uh, move through all the 12 signs of the zodiac. And every time it moves from one sign to the other, that moment is called Sankranti. I'd made a separate video about Sankranti. I will put a link here. Uh, so what happens with Sankranti is that the sun is transitioning from one sign to the other. So there are 12 Sankrantis in 
uh, the year. And these uh, 12 Sankrantis are time for meditation and spiritual things because sun is shifting its focus from one sign to the other. This is not a good time uh, to make any major decisions. Now the Vedic uh, sun change over takes place around 14th, 15th, 16th of the month. And so those are the dates we have to recognize. I talk about it regularly in my recordings. So uh, the Sankranti to be celebrated. Now out of the Sankrantis, uh, what uh, some of the important Sankranti, uh, Makar Sankranti, 13th, 14th of uh, January, this is when sun goes into Capricorn. This is a major festival time. Uh, then Besaki, when sun goes into Aries, it is celebration of the sun's exaltation. We have three Gandanta Sankrantis, Pisces to Aries. This is also Besaki, but this is a positive Sankranti in a way. But that movement between Pisces and Aries, it's an unstable aspect. Then Cancer and Leo, uh, when sun moves from Cancer and Leo, uh, this is around August uh, 15th, 16th every year. And finally, Scorpio uh, Sagittarius, which is uh, uh, 14th, 15th of December. So the three uh, uh, Gandanta Sankrantis and then every Sankranti. If you make it a habit that on a Sankranti day, you spend some time meditating about the month that has passed, what you're planning for the next month, just being in a calm uh, spiritual time, then that will be a really good way to deal with the sun. Uh, then we also have uh, uh, the sun uh, becoming exalted. So what are the strengths of the sun? Uh, sun will get exalted once a year. That is from uh, 14th of April to 15th of May, approximately every year. Then sun goes into Leo. Uh, 16th of August to 16th September are the strong positions of the sun. Uh, sun is uh, debilitated once a year, and that is something to watch out for. Now, where the confidence is low, we feel aggravated. We are trying not able to make up our minds, especially if you are uh, Leo ascendant, it's worth watching when sun is in Libra. But all of us should be aware of where the sun is. And uh, uh, Sun in Libra is uh, from uh, 16th, 17th October to 16th of November. Now, then during the transit, because the Sun is going uh, step by step throughout the signs, it is going to conjoin with every planet. Now, generally, when Sun conjoins with the planet, the planet suffers. Uh, not the sun. So whether Mercury is conjoining, Mercury gets combust, Jupiter gets combust, Venus gets combust. The moon, of course, we have a new moon, full moon every month. And uh, those also we need to watch out for. Uh, but those are positive aspects. But the difficult conjunctions for the sun uh, are uh, sun with uh, Saturn. Uh, once a year, Sun, Saturn will conjoin together. And while that is, uh, Sun takes some energy from Saturn, uh, Saturn also bothers the Sun. So that uh, al always is a challenging transit. Then uh, Sun and Rahu Ketu. Now, wherever Rahu Ketu are at a given year, that is where the eclipses are going to take place. So when Sun goes into the sign where Rahu is, you know, uh, it, at a new moon, uh, there will be a solar eclipse. At a full moon, when sun is with Rahu, will be a lunar eclipse. And the same thing when sun goes with Ketu, then at a new moon, uh, there will be a solar eclipse. At a full moon, uh, there will be a lunar eclipse. And the eclipses are as unsettled energies, but also we have to see the uh, sun Rahu conjunction, Sun Ketu conjunctions, these are also stressful timings of the year. Now, Sun uh, Mars, uh, they are both militant planets. So sometimes when they get together, they can get overly heated up and uh, strong, overly strong. However, when Mars is combust to the Sun, then Mars loses some energy. It is not at its strongest aspect. 
uh, another factor that you can look at the transits of the sun is what house the sun is going. First house is about yourself. Second house is money. Uh, third house is courage, confidence. Fourth house is home. Fifth house is children, creativity. Sixth house is opposition, health, healing. Seventh house is relationship. Eighth house is unexpected transformations. Ninth house is good luck, opportunity, guru, learning, teaching. Tenth house is career. Eleventh house is uh, money. Uh, earnings and 12th house's expenses. So you're watching the sun because in the year he's going to go through all these different uh, positions and he's generally taking your eye to a particular point, encouraging you to think about it and work with it. And finally, watch out when sun combusts you. So whatever your ascendant ruler is, when it gets too close to the sun, it is showing that you are burnt out, you have overdone things. Uh, so it is time to take a little break because sun is overpowering you and uh, you have overdone things as well. So take a little break. So that is it for today. Uh, do leave message to tell me uh, any questions you have or if you want me to cover any other subjects. I'm going to continue with the Transits Masterclass uh, with Moon next. Thank you.